Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to my channel, Jessica Myros. On today's episode, we're going to be tackling a huge project transformation on our backyard. Uh, it's going to be a lot of cutting, a lot of trimming, a lot of sweat and dirtiness, but it's going to be amazing. And I hope you find this content inspiring and motivating for you to tackle any project you have been thinking about. So if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That really, really helps my channel. And I will love, love to have you as a viewer. I am very thankful for all of my subscribers that are coming back to watch my video today. And uh, very, very feeling grateful for you guys for you to be here um, don't forget to leave me a comment below it helps me know who you are and uh, and connect with you so um, you're gonna see uh, various uh, outfits because it's gonna be um, t a long project over a matter of a uh, few months I don't even know but I hope you really enjoy it and um, you'll see our little family tackling along, um, uh, helping out each other. And uh, we did some work at night, some work early in the morning because we live in Arizona. The weather here is pretty brutal. So I hope you find this uh, super motivating, like I said. And without further ado, Let's get started and hit that like button and leave me a comment below. All right, guys, I don't even remember when it was the last time I gave you the update. I think it's when um, we had finished the door. But today decided last minute to um, get a little bit of progress on the air backyard area that we're working on. Um, so we bought some flagstone to be able to lay it like a pathway from the front to the back and I think we're thinking of eliminating this bush the um, bougainvillea the little bush right there and this other bush right here which is kind of sad I kind of like it but it really becomes an obstacle to try to make this area like a more play area so we were thinking that that can be a spot to put like chairs or a table, like a cute little sitting area. So we can create these like a uh, playful space. So this is the next step we're working on. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the inside of the backyard and then we just, we just laid that one down. We haven't really put it down completely, but that's probably where it's gonna go. And then uh, we have this path area already set. That was non-existent, we didn't, didn't have anything there. So we went and grabbed some flagstone and laid it all down. However, we thought it was best, that will look best. So we can walk, walk now through here, which we never even had a reason to walk that way before because there was no door. Or access to the backyard this is really really neat so as I'm laying this uh, flagstone down I just want to mention uh, if you see like a little bit of uh, different coloring between those two windows it's because I did not have a chance to explain to you guys but that was where the wall ended so uh, we took that wall down and push it to the left uh, to where you can see the border of the wall and added a gate because uh, we did like I mentioned I, we did not have any access to the backyard through the side of the house so we expanded the backyard and added a gate uh, now we were kind of working on getting some sort of walkable area on the pathway there so we added some flagstone and then we came up with the idea of actually um, expanding so as we started like doing this project ideas and uh, new uh, inspiration started happening and I feel that you can probably relate that once you get started on something new things come up and new ideas come up but I was really enjoying doing this um, with the whole family the 
boys were super super helpful and really willing to to work um, and uh, help us hey guys, out. I think it's been um, a while since I give you an update of our backyard project, but I wanted to go ahead and do that now um, because we're really gonna get that started and get it going. So we already have a very defined plan of what we're gonna do. Um, first and foremost, uh, right now it's 7.42 p.m. So we're gonna be tackling uh, this bush right here. Um, there's uh, some bush over there, that little one, that has to come off the ground. So if you look at over here, that's where the gate is, um, right there. So the gate, it's going to be uh, flagstone cemented on the ground, like a pathway. And then um, all the way to where the big window is right here. And there's going to be cemented uh, flex zone on that area. And it will continue on. So this bush is go going to be... Um, it's going to be going bye-bye. <laughs> and then oh, that bush as well. Right there. So all that is going to be gone. Uh, so the pathway from the gate that I'm mentioning... It's going to be all the way to the uh, end of the house. So it can continue on to where the other flax zone is over there. So it will connect right there. And then it will go on all the way here. So let's talk in more action. So we're going to get started on this all right Oh my god, you guys, I can't tell you how hard it is to work with these um, bushes and take out the roots. That's probably the hardest part. And also because we're doing this in the middle of the summer and the heat, even if we were working at night, it was like an oven. It's really, really hot even at night or at any time of the day. <laughs> But um, this is probably the hardest part that we had to deal with. Uh, cutting the bushes down and getting them out uh, from the root. And as you can see right there, Sky was going crazy with all the <laughs> machines, the motor of the machines going on. <laughs> it was so funny to see that, but also kind of stressful because she, I didn't want her to get close to all of that. But um, it was fun. We easily spent one or two hours this night trying to work on the roots, you guys. wondering the kids were already asleep at this point uh, the night and they usually go to sleep uh, around 7 7 30 and uh, we keep the monitor to check on them while we were doing all this work um, I mean you you 
kind of have to make it work with what you have, you know? <laughs> and also, I was、uh, talking to my sister about how they took a whole tree out of their yard, and、uh, that was because they have the machinery to do that. And here we are, us working with our bare hands and trying to pull things manually. I would have come so handy to have、uh, one of those. Uh, dirt diggers, whatever they are called. All right, guys, I just want to show you. We just took that one little bush right there. I'm still working on getting the roots out, but just having that a clear sp space. And then look at that over here. Look how much space it gives it. It's amazing. It's like Wow, that's gonna be really good when it's, once it's all said and done. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanna share with you really quick a little clip of where we at with the process of the, our backyard. We're having a lot of work done today, so I'll share it with you guys that. So, right now we have that flat area right here, you can see the line. Uh, we're gonna have、uh, extended the black stone that we had already here over to this side. So that's gonna be black stone. And over here, this is where we had a grass area and decided to switch it all black stone from the、uh, Arizona room all the way throughout. So this is the end of episode one. Here you have a sneak peek of what's gonna be happening next, and so you get a feel for where we're going with this project. I hope you are intrigued and would love for you to come back to see the episode number two for the final look. As always, I thank you very much for watching my video, and don't forget to give that thumbs up and subscribe to keep watching more of my content. See you on the next one.